Well, hi, and welcome to this episode of Learn Everyday English, where we use words, phrases, and real-life situations to help you learn and improve your English. Well, today we're in the studio, as you can see, and we're going to be talking about, uh, I think, something that's pretty interesting. We're going to be talking about words in English that have silent letters, or letters that uh, you do not pronounce when you uh, say the word. So if you like these videos, one, hit the like button, two, please subscribe, three, hit the bell for notifications so you can be updated when we upload a new video, and four, hey, tell your friends about it and this channel so that they can benefit. So without further ado, let's get going. So I'm going to um, give you words that uh, have silent letters. I'm going to go in alphabetical order. Alphabetical order, that means like from A to B to C, etc., all the way through Z. But so I'm going to start with the letter A, and then B, and then C in this video. Then I'll have uh, what we call subsequent videos. Subsequent videos. That means videos that will follow or will be in sequential order that will come next. That's subsequent videos that will discuss the other letters that are silent in, in certain English words. But we're going to start off with words that have the letter A in them that are not pronounced. Uh, these words are somewhat, um, I want to say, a little bit different or a little bit odd because, in a sense, you may be able to say the letter A, but in when English speakers here in America uh, say them, the A is not pronounced. So I'll start off, for ex example, there's the word artistically, artistically. It has an A at the end in the last five letters are C-A-L-L-Y, so you might think it is pronounced artistically, artistically, but we just say artistically, artistically, the A is not pronounced. So that's very common with words that end in A-L-L-Y. Or So another example is logically, logically. It's not, it is not pronounced logically, but logically, so logically, logically. So I can say, he logically figured out the math equation. He logically figured out the math equation. Another word is musically, musically. It's not musically, but musically. So we can say a popular expression in English is, hey, he is musically inclined. He is musically inclined. That, he, that means he has an, uh, it, he's, he's able to uh, pick up things that are related to music very easily, or things that are related to music come very easily or naturally to him. And again, that's another word I just said, naturally. We don't say naturally. No, we say naturally, naturally. Another word is physically, physically, not physically. That, that is wrong. Not physically, but physically, physically, physically. So it is a, an example sentence is, it is very important that you stay physically fit. It is very important that you stay physically fit. And finally, uh, a last example is the word critically. Critically. We do not do not say critically. Critically. No, we say critically. Critically. So an example is somebody is in the hospital. We can say he is critically ill. He is critically ill. That means he is very, very ill. Very, very sick. So those are words that have the letter A in them, where the A is silent, we say, or the A is not pronounced. I'm going to word now words that have the letter B in them, where the B is silent. So the first word is bomb. Bomb. 
B-O-M-B. So we don't say bomb, bomb. That's not right. The B is silent. We say bomb. So an example is a bomb exploded at the mall yesterday. A bomb exploded. That means maybe a terrorist uh, planted a bomb, we say, at the mall, and it exploded or it went off. Another word is climb, like you're going to climb a mountain or climb up the stairs. That's climb, C-L-I-M-B. The B is silent, so we don't say climb, but climb, climb. Another example is comb. Comb is a something that you use to put through or uh, to fix your hair. It's called comb. So I'm going to comb my hair. I am going to comb my hair. Another word is crumb. C-R-U-M-B. Crumb. It is not crumb, but crumb. A crumb is like a little piece that is left over. Say if you eat bread or cookies or food, it's small pieces of food that are left uh, after you eat. That's called a crumb. Crumb. Another word is debt. D-E-B-T. So here the B is not at the end of the word. It is, is before the end, but we don't say debt. 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 No, it's debt. So the B is silent. So debt means like you owe money. So a lot of times we'll say Boy, he is uh, really in debt. He is really in debt. That, he, that means he owes a lot of money, maybe to a bank or to a friend, debt. Another word is doubt, D-O-U-B-T, doubt. It's pronounced doubt, doubt. I doubt that Jose is going to uh, come to work today. I doubt that Jose is going to come to work today. Another word is dumb, D-U-M-B, dumb. Dumb means not intelligent or not smart. So uh, he is pretty dumb. He is pretty dumb. Another word is lamb, lamb, which is like a young sheep. It's called a lamb. Limb, L-I-M-B, limb. It's not limb, but limb. A limb is... Uh, an arm is a limb of my body. Arm is a limb. And a leg is a limb. So I can say we have four limbs on our body. But limb is also can be a like a branch on a tree. It's called a limb. So I need to cut the limbs from the tree. Or I need to cut the limbs off of the tree. That's limb. Numb. N-U-M-B. Numb. Numb. Numb means uh, is has to do with feeling when you cannot feel or sense a sensation. So say if you go to the dentist, he gives you a shot in your mouth to deaden or to numb, to numb your gum, so you do not feel pain. That is called numb. Or maybe if you're, we say your hand goes to sleep. Maybe you slept on your hand and it's it, you have no feeling or not much feeling. I say, hey, my hand is numb. My hand is numb. Or also numb if, if you're out in the very cold weather and your hands get stiff and you cannot feel or use them or move them very easily. You can say, hey, my hand is going numb. My hand is going numb. Another word is plumber, P-L-U-M-B-E-R, plumber. It's not plumber, but plumber. So a plumber is a person who comes to fix your pipes in your house or your business, but that he is called a plumber, a plumber. And the last word I'm going to go over is thumb, T-H-U-M-B. It's not thumb but thumb, the B is silent. So thumb is this finger on your hand, is your thumb. So each hand has a thumb, thumb, thumb. 
Finally, I'm going to go over words that have a letter C in them where the C is silent or not pronounced. So the first word is crescent. Crescent. It's not crescent. It's C-R-E-S-C-E-N-T, but the C is silent, so it's crescent. Crescent can be a shape. It's like a shape of a certain... Uh, the moon, when it's in a certain phase, we call it the crescent moon. The crescent moon. Crescent. Also, the, there's another word, descend. D-E-S-C-E-N-D. -E -E it's not descend. It's descend. Descend means to go down. To go down. There's also a, I guess a noun form of that is descent. D-E-S-C-E-N-T. -E it's pronounced descent. So say if you're walking down the mountain, it is very steep. We say steep. We can say the descent was very difficult. The descent was very steep or the descent was very hard. In uh, opposite of des descend is as ascend or we just say ascend which means to go up is ascend, go up, descend is to go down. The descent is the going down, and the going up is called the ascent. So we say the ascent up the mountain was very difficult, the ascent. So again, the C there is silent. Another word is disciple. Disciple, D-I-S-C-I-P-L-E. It's not discipel, but disciple. A disciple is like a student or a follower of uh, somebody or a, an organization. We call it a disciple. So in, in Christianity, uh, Jesus had 12 disciples or 12 followers. Another word is fascinate. Fascinate or fascinating, F A S C I N A T. It's not fascinate, but fascinate, fascinate, or fascinating. Maybe you can say, I find studying English or the English language very fascinating, very fascinating. And the last word for today is called. Muscle, muscle, M-U-S-C-L-E. It's not muscle, but muscle. So muscle is, is the, uh, if you want to make a muscle, we say, hey, make a muscle. Muscle is this part of your body that moves, moves your uh, limbs, your arms. So we call that muscle, your muscle. So those are words that have the letters A, B, and C in them that are silent. So sometimes they may give you problems when it comes to uh, maybe speaking English with other people. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Learn Everyday English. And we're going to be having, uh, like as I said before, subsequent uh, episodes or episodes that will be coming up later or next We'll be going over words with other letters that are silent in English. So again, if you like this uh, video, please uh, subscribe to the channel and tell your friends about it. So until uh, next time, we'll see you later on Learn Everyday English. Thanks for watching and goodbye.